Howdy folks, Gerbo here. Welcome back to Railroads Online. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of track laying. Some of you have asked about that process, and uh, so we're going to see how the sausage is made today. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of tedious work usually, so I haven't really shown a whole lot of the track laying, but we're going to show a little bit of it today. So I've got my uh, log train over here, and yeah, let me pull up the map. I'm over here where my line branches across the valley and goes to the sawmill. So I have ran a line uh, also from, I wish I could put the pointer on the screen. From about halfway between the arrow and the sawmill, there's a valley that heads north towards the smelter. I've got a line that runs down that mountainside, but I also want a line uh, coming from here, coming from the iron mine and continuing down towards the smelter along the mountains. So I'm putting a switch in here. I've deleted some of the track and that's what we're going to start off with. Now from, from this point down to there is a four and a half percent downgrade. So I've got to keep that in mind. I'm going to change this over to the, uh, the dirt so we can put a switch in here. I don't know if you run a switch through that derail. I have a feeling it would, but I haven't tested that. So we're going to go with dirt. And I'm going to use the constant grade because the section that we're laying down is going to be a constant grade. So let's go ahead and get that down with the Q and E and then shift lets you move in quarter increments, quarter percent. So we're going to do negative four and a half. This is going to be buried in the weeds. And a lot of this is just, just eyeballing it. So I had a, I had a curve down through here. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And that is terrible. So we're going to start over. That's what a lot of this is. Uh, it's a lot of trial and error. Uh, I don't have the name in front of me, but somebody had asked about doing a, a like a playthrough of this, but there's just not that much really gameplay yet. A lot of it's just trial and error and figuring things out. So that's what I've been kind of trying to share is like more like progress reports of what I'm doing. Alright, so we're going to come down this way and we're going to start angling over. About like that. I think that's going to be close enough. So with the constant grade option, you can see I can still start, I can still keep laying, but what I can do is I can change and it changes the entire segment that I'm working on. Oh, it looks like it messed it up. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's because I, then if I right click to finish that. Whereas a variable, a variable grade, each piece of the segment you're working on that you put down can have a separate grade. So depending on what you're wanting to do, and change that up. So now what I want is okay, we're coming down up there, so it's not too sharp of a bend. I need a switch to the left. This is going to be a little tricky. You got to watch to see how that is moving. And it sinks into the roadbed. You got to make sure it's actually attached to the roadbed you're working with. So I'm going to throw that about there and we'll see if, see if we can get that to work. It's going to be a little tight. I like to come a little ways off the switch, kind of straight, and then we'll start angling over. And it'll adjust the curve as you go. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So that's a, that's a little bit of a kink, but that's not too bad actually. But I think I will relay some of this curve just to make it smoother. So let's get our demolish tool back out. Be super careful you're not deleting the roadbed. I really hope they change it so that it highlights what you're about to delete. That would be super useful. Because I accidentally delete roadbed all the time. All right, let's see if we can get that bent in there to be a little bit smoother flow. So we're not picking a car wheel and getting derailed. So come off the switch 
out as straight as you can for a little bit. And then we can start angling it over. You can see, like, right now this is fairly sharp, but once I lay it down, it kind of tries to smooth out the curve. You get that in the middle, don't, don't uh, link it, because it'll try to link to something that's not what you want. I don't know what... That's a joint in the roadbed. I don't know what it's trying to link up to, but it's never good. We're still not, not quite where I want to be. Yeah, that's still ugly. So we'll just continue on out until we get a smooth joint. <laughs> Like I said, there's a lot of trial and error, and that's why I have it shown a lot of this, because it gets pretty tedious. Nobody wants to watch four or five hours of me doing this. Yeah, I mean, that's it's not great, but I think it's livable for now. Uh, now we need some roadbed going that way. If you look at the map, there's kind of a path go straight ahead and then it kind of bends around and so we're going to kind of try to follow that down to the smelter and just see where we end up i haven't prospected the whole thing yet but i'm going to do variable grade in case we need to change this up and we're going to go back down to one and a half percent like that and then we'll just see how the land goes it looks like we can come back up so let's get this back up to like 2%, 1%. How much of a curve is that? That's not too bad. It's constantly checking. It looks like it's fairly flat through here. And then I consult the map to see where we're headed. Okay, we don't have too sharp of a curve. So I'm going to put that out there, get rid of some of the trees. I like to keep them back from the roadbed a bit so they're not interfering with visibility. So it looks like we're going to come out through here. kind of the flat area. And then what you can do, grab a constant grade. I'm just making something that I can see to aim for. It gets a little confusing back here amongst all the trees. All right, let's go ahead and do constant grade for now. You can hear the river down there. That's pretty cool. So right now I'm going to do a little straight section that lines up with the roadbed, and then we can start curving over towards where I want to be. I'm just going to come right through here. We can delete that later. Now are we rounding the bend? I'm not sure the arrow is exactly lined up on the map. I think we have a waterfall over here somewhere. I think we're almost getting into the weeds. That's okay. I don't really want to go upgrade. I don't think the arrow is exactly lined up. It looks, I'm further north, I think, of where the arrow is showing. That's like the edge. And we're towards the waterfall, so I, I need to start bending this way.
So this is how I've been laying my track for those that were curious. Just kind of trial and error your way down through it. Start curving this way. And I usually won't clear the trees until I see where the roadbed's going to be, but sometimes you'll need to clear them just so you can tell what's going on. I want to head down at some point, but I think this curves around. Then there's that waterfall. See the creek that comes down and it goes over a cliff just north of the arrow there. Um, so we're starting to head down a bit. So I'm going to switch from constant to variable grade. I can adjust that as needed. Not quite lined up. It's a little better. Sometimes it won't click if you're on something. There we go. And then I'm going to start heading down. 1% for now. Oh, better come back to flat. Getting into the ground. All right, well, I'm going to redo that. Like I said, a lot of trial and error. Maybe we'll stick with constant grade for now. We can start curving back this way. Need a compass. That would be super handy. All right, let's stop the road by there. I want to go see what we're dealing with down here. Starting to get in some rougher terrain. Yeah, there's the river. Cool, here's the waterfall. I thought I saw a waterfall from across the valley. I've seen a waterfall in people's screenshots. There we go. Look at that. Then you can just make out the stack on the smelter over there. I think the arrow, I think the tip of the arrow is where you're at, maybe. Where it's not like the middle of the arrow. Cool, it'd be pretty neat if we came right through here. So how do we get to here? that up so we have something to see we need to kind of follow this around yeah there's my road bed okay yeah so we just keep bending around so let's start start back here so I don't know how interesting this will be but some people had asked about the track laying so I thought I'd do an episode of some track laying start bending around head downgrade a little bit Now we could just do dirt fill here, but match my downgrade. Let's put in a little bit of stone. 
let's do a trussle across here. It's always fun. Don't want to be heading downgrade though. Ooh, okay. So we'll want to stay high back on the other side. Not come down, even though we're getting pretty high over here. Now the trick is, where did I start heading downhill? I don't remember. And there's my phone that I forgot to put on vibrate. <laughs> Professional YouTuber. That turned off. I'm not sure where I started doing the grade, but I don't think it was past this point. Get that somewhat lined up, and then back over this way we go at 0% grade. Yeah, that's good. And then let's switch to, I like doing the stone before we get to the trussle. It's all aesthetics. It doesn't really matter. You could just run your track on the ground if you wanted to. Might be some pretty bumpy track, but you could certainly do that. Then if we come across this little low spot. We need to kind of end up here. So let's go across back to the other side. Got a little too much of an angle, so we need to redo this part. Remember that trial and error I keep mentioning? Yep. This is it. Let's start eyeballing this. And I want to get out of there because sometimes you'll get stuck inside. I usually try to get out of that before I right click to end it. And let's get a little bit of a stone over there. Beautiful. Clear off some of these trees so we can see what we're doing. Make sure the saw is squarely in the tree. All right, can we do some stone off of here? Your theme. Start bending this way. Does the ground change much? I didn't really want to come up. If I could avoid it. Really ought to be higher to get across that, I think, to look right, shouldn't we? Well, let's. what does the trussle look like? We just literally lay a trussle across here. <laughs> it looks pretty dumb. I mean, that's doable, but it looks kind of dumb. Uh, so I think we want to raise the grade just a bit. So I'm going to leave the trussle there as a visual cue. I'm going to try to find all my roadbed pieces. 
I think I'll start raising on this trestle so we're a little higher over here. Get all this road bed out so we don't cause ourselves any issues. I think that's all gone. So I'm going to go relay this trestle. I think we'll come up like 1%. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, start getting some height to get over that creek. You don't want to change grades too abruptly. That can be hard on the cars. So about in the middle of there. Let's run across to the other side. So we're coming across. And if we come up 1%, that's a good start. That'll work. Back over to the stone and then we can continue that one percent trend so it's not a huge transition all right then we're going to switch back to our dirt start bending back around towards the creek i start aiming for that trestle and we're, yeah, we're starting to get high enough. We'll come over to about here with the dirt. And I'm going to get out of there in that. And then I think we'll probably level out. We'll switch to the stone to level out to cross the creek. It's all up to you. It's your railroad. You can build it how you want. It's a little off center. There we go. That's better. Up down here. Something like that. Oh, that's super crooked. But now I know about how far I need to go. I really like the look of the wooden trussel. Then we shall cross the river. Back up a little bit and we can get lined up you have to be a certain distance to the tree or it doesn't work stone off here there we go we crossed the river so that's 20 some minutes of track laying. I'm going to continue the trend on down to the smelter and I'll see you down there. Welcome back. For you, it's been a quick transition. Uh, for me, it's been about an hour and a half or so. Uh, this is ugly, but I did get down to this, <laughs> to the smelter. So I'm headed back up now. I've got uh, track laid from the smelter connection up around that curve. Now I'm headed back upgrade. Clearing out any trees I missed. Some of this, we'll just have to see how the track goes. It might get relayed. Uh, like I keep saying throughout this video, it's, it's trial and error. You gotta try something, and if it doesn't work, try something else. Let me get rid of that tree right there. This is my other line that goes up to the uh, other side of the valley there, connects in. So if we're coming from the sawmill to bring cordwood or whatever over here, we can come down that track. And it, uh, this track goes around and then back, it goes under that trestle, which was a little tricky. There's not really a provision for that. So I just had to delete a section of the trestle and uh, leave the track hanging in the air. So it looks looks a little goofy, but not too bad so I trimmed some trees as I went but then there's sections like this that need all the trees trimmed off hit P for player menu I'm down to $462 been spending money left and right cutting down trees yeah, that was a little close 
So I'm going to work my way back up the line. I'm going to lay some track down. Come on, tree. There we go. And then we'll see how the train handles it coming down and adjust accordingly. So another transition and I'll see you in a bit. So I've got the track laid and heading back up to the uh, where the train is. Just look at this view though. Pretty awesome. There's my bridge way over there. There's the waterfall. Looks pretty neat. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to be in the train. And here we are back at the locomotive. I don't have any uh, ore to take over. I'm just going to take this train. It's got six state cars on it. So it's pretty heavy for the champ on grades. Up here. How are we doing? We're getting a little low on water. Fire going good. We're not going to need a, a ton of steam. Close. Today's patch uh, it helped out the control situation a little bit. So a little bit finicky, but I found if if you get like right here, see how responsive that is now. It's a lot more responsive than it used to be. Anyway, let's just ease off the brakes. Not even sure I needed to fire the uh, fire up any. Uh oh, we got weird sounds. That's probably not good. <laughs> I might have blown its mind laying all that track. Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna save and restart. That's a little bit concerning. I'll be right back. Okay. What are we doing here, train? Being a little weird. Make sure all my cars are coupled up. Sometimes they'll come uncoupled when you save and quit. Uh, no weird sounds now, though, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get the reverser and forward. I think we're getting off the grade now. Start getting some throttle in. Probably I'll just switch to this view. So today's patch, um, they made the, the controls a little better and they also added W and S to change the regulator when you're in this view. So that's kind of cool. Hopefully they'll eventually get to where you can map your own controls. Baby steps. <laughs> More throttle on. At least until we get over to the 3% grade. So now we just drive along the track, uh, check for any problems. There's some pretty tight curves, so I'm going to have to be taking it pretty slow on those. But I'm going to just head on down to the smelter. Uh, I might time lapse this or skip or something, but I'll see you down at the smelter.
All right, we're coming around almost down to the smelter. Just been managing the break the whole way down, keeping it at least 25% works well with this load of six empty cars. 3% grade basically all the way down uh, from up around the waterfall area. It's just a constant 3% grade. Slowed way down coming around there. Some of the cars are getting a little bit squirrely. I ask on uh, the Discord about hiding this UI and why the Y key hides that for screenshots. And here we are. This is just about the end of the 3% grade. I'm going to ease off on the brake. Like I said in uh, previous videos, the physics are pretty good. I had this stopped on a, I don't know if it was two or two and a half percent grade. I was trying to back up and it was just spinning out. So what I ended up doing and actually worked, that switch is thrown, is I put all the handbrakes on all six cars on 20%. Uh, and then I put the engine in reverse and full regulator release the locomotive brake so it would start pushing and then I got up on the cars and I undid the first car brake let it kind of push in the slack then undid the second car let it push in the slack and I did that slowly all the way down the whole train and it got it moving just barely but it got it moving <laughs> and then once I was moving I was I was golden so that was pretty cool physics are are pretty decent Uh, this tracks it's a little janky you might end up re relaying this but. Uh, so we're actually lined up to go straight through I believe I'm gonna get some regulator back on here I really like having the uh, WNS control hopefully we can get some more key commands but there we are we made it um, I don't know how it'll do, do with a loaded train but we made it with empty cars. Yeah, that got a little wiggly back there. So the smelter takes uh, cordwood to burn its furnaces and iron ore. I'm not sure how the iron ore unloading works. But I'm assuming you just spot the cars here and click on them like you do other stuff. I kind of expected... Like an elevated track where they would dump or something. I don't know. This is what we have right now, though. Let's see. And we're lined up to head back out. So there's the track to the smelter. Little, uh, smelter? <laughs> to the smelter. Uh, this track goes up, circles back around, and heads back up the valley. Back up to the uh, the other side of the valley. Yeah, I can't open the map when I'm in the locomotive. So I'm going to head back over to the sawmill. Probably earn some money. I'm getting a little low on funds after cutting so many trees. Need to get some uh, money bought. Some money bought? No, some money earned, and then a hopper bought. So you can get some uh, iron ore over here. Let's we'll see how that works. We gotta climb out of here now. I think it was around a 2% grade heading out of here. It's not quite as steep as coming in. Because um, I figured I'd be hauling the ore out of here. Or, I mean, the steel. So I didn't want it too crazy. 
So this would be the route we take with the steel back over to the freight depot to get it sold. But that'll be for a future video. I'm going to chug on out of here. Maybe. We'll see how she handles. One little champ too. Show him what you got. But that'll be it for this video. Thanks as always for watching. Happy railroading and I'll catch you in the next one. Captain's log, supplemental. <laughs> if I leave the footage in, I, I derailed right here for some reason. I don't know if it was the sharp curve. Uh, the cars were kind of bouncing around here, so I think it might have got weirded out because there's no trestle under here. Those five cars, uh, I was messing around getting the car re-railed. I didn't, uh, didn't get the brakes set all the way. They took off. <laughs> They rolled all the way down around the smelter track and back up here. Now they're gently rolling back the other way. That's crazy. I thought I would find them in a pile down there at the bottom of the grade. Uh, but apparently they stayed on the track. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. I'll throw this in at the end of the video. Cheers.